I'm Nina, welcome back to my channel. If you already know me, if you don't, you're new to this video, this channel, welcome. I love interior and exterior style, so all things fashion on the exterior and your home on the interior, home decor. So today I wanna to talk about how to find, pick and buy the right couch. This can be one of the most overwhelming processes of moving into a new place, getting new furniture, re furnishing your home or redecorating in some kind of way people can get really stressed out about the couch process but it doesn't have to be that stressful it doesn't have to be that complex so we're going to break down how you can find the perfect couch for you in a stress-free way first tip is going to be pinterest yes the obvious going to pinterest to find inspiration for what kind of couch do you like what kind of couch speaks to you what kind of couch are you most inspired by? Create a board, call it couch, whatever you want, make it secret, keep it to yourself, make it public, repin, do whatever you need to do, but create a board that speaks to you. Create a board that inspires you and really makes you feel like, okay, I know exactly what kind of couch I like. You should be able to look at so many pictures where you're just like, okay, I know for sure I want a sectional. I know for sure I want a neutral color. You know, like you're able to narrow that down because I think the first thing when people start going shopping for couches is they feel overwhelmed. There's so many options that I don't know what to choose for. So if you're able to narrow down the kind of couch you like, the color, how many seats you're looking for, do I want it to seat six, four, do I want a smaller couch, like a cute little, um suede pink couch or suede or suede blue couch whatever the case may be you know exactly what you want you can narrow it down you get into these websites and you know how to pick your couch second step will be to pick a couch based on your needs do you have a family do you um live with just one other person do you have a roommate significant other whatever the case may be if you have a family you want to pick a couch color that isn't going to um, stain very easily i know families don't particularly love to get like a white couch or an off-white couch but maybe you can get a gray couch right get a darker gray because there's so many different shades of gray that you can go on the darker side of the spectrum and then accessorize the couch with lighter accessories with throws with pillows anything that you can to brighten that couch up is what's going to give you that aesthetic that you want despite the fact that maybe because you have kids or a dog it wouldn't be conducive so use those accessories to dress up the couch the way you want to make it light to make it bright just to make it uniquely you Another thing in picking the couch based on your needs is how many seats do you want? Like I was talking about before, do you need something that's going to seat six people, eight people? And when you think about seating people, when you're on a couch, it can be so close, right? So if you want something that seats three people, maybe go up to a four seater or a six seater so that when people are sitting on the couch, it's comfortable. Or also consider maybe buying supplemental uh, chairs, you know, like accent chairs on the side accent chairs that you know complement the couch that you're buying so think about how many you want to see what your purpose is in buying this couch are you buying it to entertain are you buying it mo more so for your family are you buying it for yourself and your significant other like for me when I moved into this apartment my boyfriend and I weren't together at the time but when we got together I realized that I needed a bigger couch he's six foot five he's really big I wanted something that he would be able to lay straight out on put his feet up, I can lay on him, he can lay on one side, I can lay on one side. And for us, that looked like a four seater or more. So try to understand what your needs are as far as how many you need to seat, how many would you seat comfortably, would you like to lounge, and you know, what the real purpose of you getting this couch would be. So you have your inspiration from Pinterest. You have the kind of couch that you want, kind of couch that you like. You have the size couch that you'd like, how many are you seating, four, six, eight, etc. Now you have to think about the color couch that you want. So in the first point when I talked about Pinterest and families, you know, you picking out a couch that's based on your needs, think about the color, right? The color should be a basic color, something that can be repurposed. Should you decide to resell this couch, you know it's an easy sell because it's just a standard color, it's a basic color. Something that you're going to love four or five years from now it's not trendy where you like it today and then after two years you're just like okay this trend is out this is played out this is really old school like i want to get rid of it and get a new couch think of something really classic classic colors for me are neutral colors your browns like tans like off-whites things of that nature your grays those things for me are more idealistic if you do like bright colors there's nothing wrong with that because you can always mix your bright colors with neutrals again with pillows, white pillows or neutral colored pillows, neutral accessories like throw blankets and things of that nature. So there's so many different ways to spin your couch even once you get it and to transform it after you get tired of it. 
but the basic standard or foundational level of that is getting a solid color couch i see a lot of couches that have like multicolor weaved into them and you know after a while you just don't like that it's trendy now but you don't like it the next thing is a two-fold type of thing so you should consider getting a couch that's easily resellable think about the resale value when you are ready to redecorate your place you are ready to move somewhere new or your needs change think about the resale value of that couch now by picking a solid color you're considering your resale value my second thing would be to consider a pre-loved couch now i know a lot of people don't feel you know i don't want to I don't know what someone else is doing in their home, on their couch, with their couch, you know, I don't know how I feel about that, but if you consider a pre-loved couch, consider upholstering it. It's super easy. You get a large sheet of fabric, whatever texture or color that you like, get a staple gun, tuck, staple, tuck, staple. That's also something you can consider um, if you're on a budget, because I know really good couches can run you anywhere between two to four grand if you are really going for something stylish something elegant something long lasting something classic it can kind of run you a lot i'm a budget person i try to find things for less i try to diy i try to put a spin on things make it my own dress it up accessorize so think about those things too like what is your budget next tip what is your budget the budget will truly truly depend on what you get and what kind of couch really you're going to get for your money so if you get a couch that it isn't everything you wanted, but it's most things you wanted, right? It's, it may not be the color um, that you wanted. Dress it up, accessories, accessorize with a throw, a white throw, a gray throw, whatever color that you want that speaks to you, you make it yours. Because we have to remember that our home, see, when this whole thing happened, this whole pandemic, I think a lot of people spending time in their home, it didn't just make some of us crazy because we were home all the time, but we didn't have the environment that was mentally conducive to allowing us to feel the tranquility and peace that we needed to be okay in this moment. And so you think about your couch, it's the area that you retreat to when the day is finished or you know, when you wanna sit and watch your favorite t TV show, it's the place where you're technically supposed to disconnect from everything else, right? Disconnect from the outside world, from the things that happen at your job, the things that happen in the Zoom meeting, like you wanna come to the couch and just be in a place of tranquility, be in a place of peace. And the best way to do that is to start picking pieces that speak to you, making those pieces your own, accessorizing, dressing up, and picking pieces that will last long term. That long term, you'll still love this couch. Five years from now, you'll still want to be here. When I walk into my living room and I see this couch, the first thing I want to do is sit on it. I have to literally train myself to not go to the couch but to go to the desk it got so bad that at one point i actually put an entire sheet over my couch from discouraging me from sitting on it because i created such a place of peace such a place of tranquility that it, it was it was amazing i don't even know how to to phrase it and that's what i want for you that's what i think you should um do in creating that's what i think you should do when you're creating that space when you are buying that couch because remember the couch is like the focal point of your lounge relaxing living area so think about all of those things those tips your needs picking solid colors um trying to stay away from trendy things that you're not gonna like five years from now try to really choose something that no matter what you're gonna love this thing you can transform it you can accessorize it and that's another thing in just picking a basic plain couch right you can always dress it up you can always make it what you want you can always add accessories when you pick other couches that are super trendy they come with all these pillows and they do all this stuff it's like you don't get to add those things that you want so picking those solid colors those neutral colors your browns your grays those are really really good things that will last you a long time and help you create a couch that's you so I hope those tips helped you, helped somebody out there. Please let me know if they did. Let me know if you recently bought a new couch, if you are buying a couch. Um, I'd love to hear what the process was like for you. Was it easy? Was it stressful? But I really hope that I made it easy for those who are considering this or going out to get a new couch. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.